<laughs> She's older, right? She should start. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sip and Tip. I'm MJ and I'm Zanae. Today we are going to talk about our past and present selves. Well, you know that's going to be interesting. <laughs> so let's start with our past selves. I'll be the first to say my attitude, for lack of better words, sucked. It does not help anyone to sugarcoat their attitude. Not at all. Because I can speak for myself when I say many people put up with my attitude that really shouldn't have because it prolonged longer than it needed to um, but I learned my lessons I learned how I hurt people with my my words let alone any of my actions and for the better I was able to change that and become the person I am now yes. and I enjoyed being a part of that only because her attitude used to break my heart <laughs> And I don't know, I, I always internalized that and felt like it was my fault. So it wasn't. I, I took the time to write her a letter and try to get her to open up to me and sure enough. Eventually after that, it, it, it started to do better. She was better with me. Yeah. And if you're that person that kinda swallows yourself for people that was like me or is like I was, don't. Your valid emotions need to be heard, need to be felt, need to be expressed in a positive way. Because expressing yourself to others allows them the opportunity to know where they're messing up or how they're hurting other people. Interestingly enough, in the past, I was afraid to speak up and say anything because if I did, people tend to get worse. If I said, you hurt my feelings, they would say, stop being a pussy. Or worse, come over and hit me. So the words are lost. You know, when I'm in my past self, I wouldn't want to say anything. Somebody did something, shrug it off, just know not to say anything to them next time, or I don't know. And there are some people that you cannot voice reason with. And there are some people that are really out to hurt others. And so you do want to judge each situation for what it is. If you know you can't talk to someone, it's best to remove yourself if you can. Exactly. But for people that were or are like me, we really just need someone to guide us. And that guidance is what's missing. And we just react purely on emotion and not logical. And so we need someone to help us guide, guide our ways, guide our thinking in a positive way to get us to our evolved self. And luckily I had that, even though I didn't appreciate it at a young age, I had that. Um, it didn't come in many forms, it came in one, but at the end of the day, it helped me evolve into a better person, even though I didn't take those words in the times that they were given. So please understand that even if you are that person that is upset or angry or just very emotional, understand that the people that are talking to you are not always out for harm. So give them a chance. And even if you don't use it today or in the moment, just remember what they're saying because it'll resonate. If it's for good, it'll resonate at the right time. That's something that I've always, always had in my heart was that I wanted everybody to feel better than I've always felt. You know, I was one of those kids that felt alone and always looking at her feet or the ground. Well, that's not a good way to feel. So yeah. I didn't want anyone to feel that way. And a lot of people express themselves differently. They're angry or they're timid. So you grow out of it, hopefully, with the right support, the right guidance and you become your future self, your present self. Yeah, and that's one thing I can honestly say we have in common <clears throat> is that lonely feeling. How we acted on it is what's different. And so if you're the type of person that kind of swallows themselves, makes yourself kind of invisible, and doesn't honor what you're feeling, 
my suggestion to you is always be true to you. You're worthy of being heard. You're worthy of your emotions. You're worthy of your thoughts. You are worthy of everything you are given to someone else. You know, I had heard of those things in my younger years. I think I'd have been further along in my healing process. So hopefully her words have helped somebody else here. Mm. On to the now, next one. <laughs> for our present self, I'm no longer hot-headed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer as timid. I can't say timid. I'm no longer as not timid. timid. She's not timid. Don't Depends let her fool you. on the situation. She might be a little shy, but she's not timid. <laughs> I think I helped in that process. <laughs> you did. You did. But yes, we are more alike now than we are or then. Like now we are rational. We're still a little emotional, but we're rational. And our emotions are in check by our rationalities and our logic, which is very different than what it was before. Definitely. So today we're able to come to a happy medium. We can agree to disagree. We can see the other person's point of view without even living it, knowing it, or understanding it. We might not like it, but we move past it. We work around it. That's right. I mean, everybody has their own opinions. Everybody has lived their own hardships. Yep. They have had their own ups and downs, their own ways of maneuvering things. And that's what shapes who you are. So yep. you have to be accepting of who a person is and where they've come in their journey. And that's where we are. Yeah, because experience <laughs> is everything. You can be taught things in a book or through people, but your experiences is what shapes how you see the world. We all see the world through our own specific lenses. And although our lenses are not the same, and we have many things that are similar, we are able to see past our lenses to see through, or at least a speck of, of what each other understands or knows to be true. It helps that we're both empathetic as well. So being an empath, it helps you feel someone else's emotions in a sense that you don't have to feel like you just know everything. So being an empath helps. And if you're not, that's okay too. Yeah. Just be considerate. Yes. And I think also for our, us empaths, we also see others, un, others' feelings through our own lenses as well. Mm -hmm. So we could see someone crying and we'll assume they've been through something we've, we've experienced. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's not true. And sometimes we have to check our own emotions and not project. That's true. Because we are broken and we're broken because we're taking on the world and emotions and we don't need to all the time. But until we learn that, we do. You know, I like to I like the term bruised, not yeah. broken. Only because we have been through a lot, but we're still standing. So yes. you know, I think I've been not break. <laughs> okay. And that's very true in some situations. Yeah. And then sometimes we have to break in order to put ourselves back together. That's true. Because of how we were taught is not how we are. And it's we funny. have to break. I think in the past I might have been broken. But the yes. healing process works. Yes. If you believe in it and you stay true to it. It's not going to be easy. It is hard work. Definitely Every day. hard work. Because you can slide back into your passiveness. You can slide well, back into your, uh, your rage. Yes. <laughs> but it's, it's okay if you slip. But you remember who you are today. And you try your best to just bring it back. Bring it back to the positive side. Remember your why. You created a why along the way. What is that? Whether it's your children, whether you see the faces they make when you blow up or yes. shrink oh. in situations. <laughs> whether it's you seeing yourself in the mirror every day and you know that's not who you want to be. I heard a video, a phone call. By accident, they dialed and I was yelling at my poor child. So yes, I know. <laughs> you want to remember your why. Yeah. Because that's important. And that's a game changer. Yeah. And with that, we will see you guys next week for another episode of Sippy Tip. So please subscribe, like, 
comment, and share. Peace, love, and happiness.